Warm-up exercises and stretches lower your perceived exertion because muscles are better oxygenated and that makes it easier to exercise. Wrist flexion extension. Straighten your arms and place them on the outside of the chair. Flex your wrist so that your fingers point straight ahead. Now extend your wrist so that your fingers point to the back do this in a slow, continuous motion using only the wrist joint. Breathe naturally. Morning exercisers are more likely to continue exercising after a year because there are fewer distractions than in the afternoon. Back twist. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair with your feet flat on the floor. Now twist to the left and while doing so, grasp the back of the chair with your left hand. Place the right hand on the outside of the left leg. Hold for 20 seconds. Come back to the center and then begin the same process on the right side. Breathe naturally. Strength training done consistently two or more times a week decreases osteoporosis. It's also good for diabetes because it lowers your blood sugars and helps build up your cardiovascular system, decreasing heart disease. Side neck stretches. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair. Feet flat on the floor using good posture. Slowly turn your head toward the right shoulder. Hold, then return to center position. Now slowly turn your head to the left shoulder. Hold and return to center. Breathe naturally and keep using a slow, controlled motion. Several shorter exercise sessions spread throughout the day give just as much cardiovascular benefit as one long session. Rear deltoid stretch. Extend one arm straight out in front of your body. With your other arm, grasp around the elbow joint and pull your extended arm into your body. Hold, release your arm, and switch to the other side. Strength training improves balance and coordination, helping prevent accidents, falls, and injury. Quadriceps stretch. Using a chair for balance, place your right hand on the chair back and with your left hand, grasp your ankle on the left leg. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds and breathe naturally. When complete, switch to the other side and repeat with your right leg. If you can't reach the ankle, the pant leg will work as well. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds it's very important that your knee is under your hip joint. It's important to stretch after you exercise when your muscles are warm and pliable. Stretching increases joint flexibility and prevents injury. Quadriceps extension. In a seated position, move forward to the edge of the chair. Now extend one leg out so that the leg is parallel to the floor, then lower. Do 10 repetitions, then switch legs and repeat the exercise. Movement is at the knee joint, not the hip joint. Exhale as you lift the leg to knee level. Inhale as you lower. Cool down, 
three to five minutes after exercising to bring your heart rate and your blood pressure down to resting levels. Seated straight leg lift from a raised position. In a seated position, extend one leg out with the knee slightly bent to hip level. Using the hip joint, lift your leg up, then lower it to the starting position again. Do 10 repetitions, then switch legs and repeat. Exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower. You can hold onto the seat for support if needed, but be sure not to swing the leg. When doing pursed lip breathing, it isn't necessary to breathe through your nose, though it can be helpful. The nose filters out bacteria and small particles from the air. The sinuses